My name is Jokis Kuhnwald. I'm a curator here at the National Cultural History Museum of Pizzon. I'm a curator of the animal drawn vehicles as well as the numismatics collection. And I'm also currently busy acting as deputy director of the Sammy Marx Museum and the Pioneer Museum. So we are here today at the Cultural History Museum talking about animal drawn vehicles. What we have behind me here is an animal drawn vehicle, it's called a spider and was mainly used in the late 19th century. It's called a spider because if you look at the form or the shape of the vehicle, it looks like a big spider with the wheels here. You can see normally coaches have smaller diameter wheels at the front, but with the spider it has basically the same size wheels. With normal wagons or coaches, you will find that the front wheels are much smaller than the back wheels. So the wheels are all the same size, it looks like a spider. This particular object is called a Twayfelor spider in Afrikaans. Twayfelor in English means doubter, which means you can choose to which side you harness the animals you can choose to which side this vehicle is going to drive or fly. Inside this carriage you will also find the two benches back to back facing into different directions depending on which direction you want the carriage to be drawn by the horses either to that side or to that side. And it was drawn by two to four horses and it was mainly used on special visits and special occasions. This particular one is actually belonged to a long Willem Prinsler, or tall Willem Prinsler, from the famous Willem Prinsler Agricultural Museum. And it was beautifully restored, as you can see in the detail, on the wheels and on the body as well. So this forms part of a bigger collection of transport at the National Museum of Cultural History of which the bulk is mostly exhibited at the Willem Prinsler Agricultural Museum where you will find ox wagons and cape carts and so on which dates back from 1840s until early 1900s. So you can view it at the Willem Prinsler Agricultural Museum and it's one of the largest collections in the country. Just to make mention of one other very important animal drawn vehicle which you can view at the Kruger Museum is that of President Paul Kruger. It was a stagecoach or an English dress chariot that was manufactured in London by Tyrrell and Sons and he got that dress chariot in 1898 and very interestingly enough before the South African Republic went to war with Britain that coach was purchased or ordered from a catalogue and hand-painted images of the coat of arms as well as the field clear or the flag, the four colours flag of the former South African Republic was painted on that coach.